Cal is a very good market. It's grown a lot over the years. I think it's well located next to Aventura Mall, and it's 15 minutes from Fort Lauderdale, 15 minutes from obviously Miami. Uh, it's close to both airports. It's about less than a mile from Aventura, which is a city we've developed. You know, we've been uh, developing in Miami, South Florida, for six decades as a company. There's probably no other developer that we know of doing that, that has that kind of pedigree in Miami. Having built a city, I mean, how many developers can say they've built a city? So that's one thing that makes Turnberry totally unique. The philosophy of our company is always that we try to build stuff that makes a difference that you can add rather than just copy somebody and build a nice building and let the location speak for itself. Not only do we do luxury high-rise residential, but we also do retail, we do hospitality, and we do office and commercial. Properties that we've done going back over the last 50 years or so, you know, it started with Turnberry Isle back in the 70s and 80s and continued with Porta Vida and Aventura in the 90s in the early 2000s, and then Turnberry Ocean Colony and Sunny Isles Beach. All of these properties at their time were known as the best and still are. Turnberry has a very long tradition of producing, I would say, the best condo buildings in Miami Beach. Uh, this is a progression both for Turnberry and for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's taking their base product, bringing it to a different level. The sequence of water is really important because you have water when you enter, you have water at the portico chair. As you move into the lobby, you have water again. Then you make a connection between the lobby pool and the ocean. Turnberry took a decision to bring it up, to bring it up to a different level, bring it up to the 30th level. 31st and 32nd floors have 40,000 square feet of amenities. This is really unmatched in Miami, and I don't know of any other building that does this. So it's really a breakthrough. I think that Turnberry has brought the idea of amenities into a building, into a level of a club. You now belong to the Turnberry Club. We are providing a, an open space, a communal space for the building with open air in the 30, 30th floor with two pools which are cantilevering over the building. It's like giving an opportunity to swim in the sky. It's, it's really something unique. The club, it defines the building, gives it a personality. But then there are areas in the building, uh, two-story duplexes with, with two-story terraces. And we have five elements, five uh, duplexes throughout the building. These are penthouses, but they are not on the top necessarily. They are at different levels of the building. One of the things that our purchasers really like about Turnberry Ocean Club is that in addition to all the amenities, the six floors of amenities that we have in our tower, uh, within a mile from the tower, they receive a, a membership to Turnberry Isle Resort and Country Club, which has everything in addition to what we have, which is two 18-hole championship golf courses designed by Raymond Floyd. We have a deep water marina, a racket club, two signature gourmet restaurants, one by Michael Mina, one by Scott Conant. These are things that no other property has to offer in this market that's unique about Turnberry Ocean Club. And the approach was proportion, balance, circulation, ease of movement, comfort, as if I was designing a home for myself. We try to maximize views and provide access to every living and bedroom space to a, a large terrace. And we've done that for, for all of the units in this building. Every unit has a through view, sunrise, sunset view. We're not building Turnberry Ocean Club for just anyone. We're building it for an exceptional few.